Would everyone please rise and remain standing for the voting of the colors, the singing of the national anthem by Sergeant Kirby Staley, and the invocation by Chaplain Coffey. Color Guard, post the colors. Officer, Color Guard, he's there, out. Right, quick, hold, mark. Present arms. Oh, see, can you see by the dawn's early light? What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fire. The ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming in the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air. Through the night, that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet wave? I invite you to pray. Almighty God, our Creator and Redeemer, you guide and bless us with good government, just laws, and dedicated public servants who laudably uphold those laws, keep the peace, and befriend the members of society in their times of need. They willingly do so at great cost and even peril to themselves as we gather in this solemn assembly to remember those from within the ranks of the Indiana State Police who have made the ultimate sacrifice for the cause of peace and safety within our state. We humbly ask thy supernal blessing upon those whom this day we memorialize and upon their families and friends who daily know their absence. Holy God, Holy Almighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy upon us and hear our prayer. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Officers, please be seated and remove your campaign hats. Welcome to the General Headquarters Memorial Service. I am Sergeant Todd Harless, the Protocol Sergeant for the State Police, and on behalf of the Superintendent Carter, 
and primary staff, we would like to recognize and welcome survivors and distinguished guests who are with us today. Thank you for joining us as we honor our fallen heroes. At this time, we will perform a wreath laying ceremony to honor our fallen. Trooper Eugene Teague, Indianapolis, Indiana, headquarters. Appointed June 1, 1933, killed September, check, killed December 20th, 1933 in Paris, Illinois, during the capture of members of the Dillinger Gang. Trooper Paul V. Miniman, Logansport, Indiana, Lafayette Post. Appointed September 1, 1935, killed May 27th, 1937, by gunshot while attempting to capture members of the Brady Gang. Trooper William R. Dixon, South Bend, Indiana, Dunes Park Post. Appointed September 1, 1935, killed June 28, 1938, by gunshot while attempting to apprehend members of the Easton Gang. Trooper George A. Forster, Seymour, Indiana, Seymour Post. Appointed September 1, 1938, died May 17, 1941, in a traffic accident near Vernon, Indiana. Trooper Richard F. England, Columbia City, Indiana, Ligonier Post. Appointed January 20, 1936, died April 22, 1942, of injuries received in a traffic accident near Kimmel, Indiana. Trooper Her Herbert W. Smith, Shelbyville, Indiana, Connersville Post. Appointed November 2, 1942, killed December 5, 1946, near Shelbyville, Indiana, when fired upon by a traffic violator. Trooper Robert E. Clevenger, Centerville, Indiana, Connorsville Post. Appointed September 1, 1952, died September 8, 1953 in a traffic crash while pursuing a violator. Sergeant Hubert E. Rausch, Indianapolis, Indiana, headquarters. Appointed July 14, 1941, died January 26, 1955, in an automobile crash near Indianapolis. Trooper Earl L. Brown, Columbus, Indiana, Seymour Post. Appointed October 16, 1940, killed August 31, 1955, while searching a suspect. 
Sergeant John R. Miller, Lafayette, Indiana, Lafayette Post. Appointed September 1, 1941, died September 5, 1955, in an airplane crash while on Labor Day patrol. Trooper Donald R. Turner, Auburn, Indiana, Ligonier Post. Appointed November 1, 1946, died January 28, 1956, from injuries sustained when he was struck by a passing vehicle as he assisted a wrecker operator to pull a vehicle from a ditch. For Sergeant Marvin E. Waltz, New Albany, Indiana, Charlestown Post. Appointed September 1, 1937, killed March 18, 1957, by gunshot wounds inflicted by a suspected bank robber. Trooper William R. Kellams, Indianapolis, Indiana, Charlestown Post. Appointed November 15, 1956, killed September 30, 1957, by gunshot wounds inflicted by fugitives wanted for murder. Trooper John H. Powell, Otterbein, Indiana, Lafayette Post. Appointed December 1, 1954, died February 27, 1959, while he was struck by an oncoming vehicle placing an electronic timing device on the roadway. Trooper Robert J. Garrison, Montpelier, Indiana, Red Key Post. October, appointed October 1, 1955, died December 14, 1959, instantly of head injury sustained in an automobile crash on State Road 67. Trooper Robert C. Gillespie, Bedford, Indiana, Seymour Post. Appointed September 1, 1950, died June 8, 1962, of injury sustained in a traffic crash near Mitchell, Indiana. Trooper William F. Kaiser, Tell City, Indiana, Charlestown Post. Appointed operations clerk October 16, 1957. Appointed as a trooper March 16, 1958. Killed March 9, 1965 by gunshot while investigating a suspicious person near Ramsey, Indiana. Trooper Oscar E. Mills, Hobart, Indiana, Lafayette Post. Appointed September 16, 1955, died April 12, 1966, as a result of injuries sustained in an automobile crash while traveling west on State Road 18 at County Road 350 in Carroll County. Trooper William R. Rayner, Greensburg, Indiana, Versailles Post. Appointed September 1, 1957, killed December 18, 1966, by gunshot inflicted by escapees from a Kentucky State Prison who were occupying a stolen car. Trooper Richard G. Brown, Lebanon, Indiana, Lafayette Post. Appointed May 1, 1955, died September 27, 1967, as a result of injuries sustained in a car truck crash on Interstate 74 in Boone County. Trooper Robert O. Leitzen, Westville, Indiana, Connorsville Post. Appointed August 16, 1961, killed March 30, 1969 by gunshot inflicted by a mentally deranged subject armed with a rifle who had been firing at random from a barricaded position. Sergeant George W. Campbell, Brazil, Indiana, Putnamville Post. Appointed September 1, 1950, died June 18, 1969, of a heart attack during the arrest of a truck driver who attempted to drive by the Putnamville truck scales. Trooper John J. Strew, Logansport, Indiana, Sherville Post. Appointed April 16, 1970, killed February 20, 1971 by gunshot. Marshal John Larimer of St. John, Indiana was also fatally wounded as the two officers investigated two suspicious subjects behind a school building. Sergeant Glenn R. Hosier, Logansport, Indiana, Peru Post. Appointed May 1, 1955, killed April 26, 1971 by gunshot while attempting to apprehend a subject being sought for murder in Peru, Indiana. Trooper William J. Trees, Oakland City, Indiana, Evansville Post. 
appointed September 1, 1968, died June 26, 1972, in an automobile accident while pursuing a fleeing vehicle at a high rate of speed. Trooper Lawrence B. Meyer, Sellersburg, Indiana, Charlestown Post. Appointed September 1, 1968, died February 2, 1974, of a heart attack during a foot pursuit of an escaped prisoner. Trooper Lewis E. Phillips, Michigan City, Indiana, Dunes Park Post. Appointed February 27, 1973, died April 16, 1975, as a result of injuries sustained in an automobile crash on US-20 when his patrol car collided with a semi-tractor trailer. Trooper Roy E. Jones, Lapel, Indiana, Pendleton Post. Appointed October 17, 1976, died July 3, 1979, in an automobile crash while en route to assist the Markerville Town Marshal. Trooper Robert J. Lather II, Greentown, Indiana, Peru Post. Appointed December 15, 1974, died July 6, 1982, in an automobile crash while assisting the Howard County Sheriff's Department in the pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Trooper Stephen L. Bailey, Richmond, Indiana, headquarters. Appointed November 26, 1978, died December 10, 1983, when his weapon discharged while attempting to serve a warrant in Indianapolis. Sergeant John E. Hatful, Evansville, Indiana, Evansville Post. Appointed January 28, 1973, killed April 13, 1987, by gunshot while leading the emergency response team into the residence of a suicidal subject in Posey County, Indiana. Master Trooper Michael E. Green, Thorntown, Indiana, Indianapolis Post. Appointed June 10, 1976, Killed February 5, 1993, by gunshot along Interstate 65 in Marion County while arresting a person wanted on a warrant. Trooper Todd A. Berman, Delphi, Indiana, Lafayette Post. Appointed December 9, 1990. Killed July 29, 1993, by gunshot while assisting the Camden Town Marshal with the arrest of a disorderly subject. Master Motor Carrier Inspector Ralph R. Reed, Plymouth, Indiana, Bremen Post. Appointed April 16, 1968, died August 3, 1995, when he was struck by a semi-tractor tra trailer while performing a truck inspection in Plymouth, Indiana. DNA Supervisor Kimberly S. Epperson, Fountaintown, Indiana, Headquarters. Appointed February 4, 1985, died November 16, 1995, in an automobile crash while en route to a training assignment at the Lowell Laboratory. Trooper Andrew P. Winsenreed, Osgood, Indiana, Versailles Post. Appointed December 4, 1994, died April 25, 1997, when he was struck by a semi-tractor trailer while assisting a disabled motorist along Interstate 74 in Decatur County. Senior Trooper James Patrick Bartram, Mooresville, Indiana, Putnamville Post. Appointed December 19, 1990, 1987. Died March 31, 1998, of injuries sustained in a traffic crash on State Road 144 near Mooresville, Indiana. Master Trooper David A. Duder, in Goal, Indiana, Toll Road Post. Appointed April 1, 1972, died July 16, 1998, when he was struck by a semi-tractor trailer while conducting a traffic stop along the Indiana Toll Road in LaGrange County. Trooper Richard T. Gaston, Indianapolis, Indiana, Toll Road Post. Appointed December 13, 1998, died March 4, 1999, when a semi-tractor trailer drove off the roadway and struck the trooper's vehicle, killing him and two other people in another car. Trooper Corey R. Elson, Fort Wayne, Indiana, 
Fort Wayne Post. Appointed December 13, 1998, killed April 3, 1999, when a driver opened fire on him with an automatic assault rifle during a traffic stop on US 27 in Decatur, Indiana. Trooper Jason E. Beal, Shelbyville, Indiana, Bremen Post. Appointed December 13, 1998, died January 15, 2000 from injuries sustained when he was struck by a passing vehicle as he helped a wrecker operator who was pulling a car out of a ditch. Trooper Scott A. Patrick, Wheatfield, Indiana, Lowell Post. Appointed June 25, 2000, killed December 22, 2003, when a driver opened, on, opened fire on him as he approached a disabled vehicle along Interstate 80 in Lake County. Lieutenant Gary E. Dudley, Indianapolis, Indiana, headquarters. Appointed December 14, 1979, died August 22, 2006, when he was struck by a motor vehicle while participating in a bicycle ride to honor fallen police officers. Lake County Sheriff's Department Chief of Police Gary Martin also died as a result of the crash. Master Trooper David E. Rich, Wabash, Indiana, Peru Post. Appointed November 19, 1989, killed July 5, 2007, when a motorist he stopped to assist opened fire on him as he approached the disabled vehicle on US 24 in Wabash County. Trooper Daniel R. Barrett, Logansport, Indiana, Peru Post. Appointed July 8, 2007, killed July 27, 2008, while attempting to catch a speedy motorist. His car left the roadway and struck a tree on US 31. Master Motor Carrier Inspector Robert E. Pitcher, Cambridge City, Indiana, assigned to the Richmond Scales. Appointed July 11, 1988, killed September 26, 2010, while transporting power brake testing equipment on I-70 in Wayne County and lost control of his vehicle, struck a guardrail, and then crossed into the center meeting into opposing traffic lanes, colliding with a semi-tractor trailer. These are our brother officers and fellow employees who have passed on. When they departed this life that we still enjoy, they left memories of warm friendships and of loyalty and devotion to service. The greatest tribute in our power to pay our departed comrades is this reverent acknowledgement of our obligation to remember them. It has been said the strength of the Indiana State Police Department lies in the character of its men and women. You and I will long remember the deeds of our deceased, who were ever mindful of their public trust. They have set the pattern we must follow in the days and the years to come. Thus, we who remain do reaffirm a pledge that we will continue to uphold the ideals and traditions for which they died. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise to render honors to our fallen heroes.
Well, first of all, everybody in uniform at ease. First of all, I would like to thank everyone uh, for taking the time to come. Uh, we wondered about having the event in, inside uh, today because of the weather, and uh, we probably could have had it outside, but I, I think we did fine inside as well. But so many thanks to the survivors that came, that took the time to be here. Um, I, I don't think we can ever, ever describe to you how, how important it is for you to still be with us. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Distinguished guests, so many of you uh, have taken the time. John Jay, the Lieutenant Governor of the State of Indiana, it's the first time in my career that, that, that the person's come. Eric, thank you so very much for taking the time to do that. So many else, so many others in the room, um, so very grateful. Sergeant Staley, Kirby Staley. Um, I, I've seen Kirby sing on the national stage in Washington, D.C at Police Week last week, and every single time I hear him, I just am so grateful to be able to stand any place with you. This is very special. Thank you, Kirby. <clears throat> Steve Bond from the Marion County Sheriff's Office. Um, we all go back with Steve a long, long ways, and we see him routinely. So Steve, I know you're in the back there. Thank you so very much for taking, taking the time to be here with us. Uh, Deputy Ryan Horai from Hamilton County, who's taking care of the meal for us this afternoon. Um, there's not much gets done anywhere in central Indiana without his involvement. So very, very grateful to Ryan that he continues. Um, I'd be remiss to not mention my wife, Carol, that came today to stand with me and to, but more importantly, to stand with each of you. So I, I hope that um, you'll, you'll take the time after we leave here today uh, to enjoy a meal over at the um, Historical Society. And I think Sergeant Harless will be able to give us clear directions on where that is. Thank you all very much. Officers, please uh, come back to attention. I guess I'll say it now. Uh, after the ceremony, I'll be out there in the, in the atrium, in the lobby, and I'll guide, try to guide everyone to the meal through the Government Center South, Government Center North, and, and uh, outside to the uh, State Library. And we have uh, hot dogs and hamburgers and all the fixings, so, and a lot of food, so please come and eat. Please remain standing for the benediction by Chaplain Coffey. Thank you, sir. I invite you to pray. Gracious God, our Heavenly Father, having once again memorialized the names and legacy of the Indiana State Police personnel who have made the ultimate sacrifice in service of the good cause of our great state. With grateful hearts, we render honor to these and all current law enforcement professionals. We beseech thy blessing upon them, their work, and their families. O Lord, the light of the world, be thou their light in the dark and dreary moments. O eternal word of wisdom, instruct and guide them with thy profound counsel. O Prince of Peace, bestow thy transcendent spirit of peace in body, mind, and heart. Blessed be our God, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. O Lord, who multiplied the bread and turned the water into wine, as we have now secured the detail for which we have assembled, we turn to the purpose of fostering and renewing our blessed bonds as members of the Indiana State Police family. To the sharing of this meal. Bless us and these thy gifts which we receive from thy bountiful goodness. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy upon us and hear our prayer. Amen. <clears throat>